Hey everyone, today on Photographers Drinking Coffee Talk in Business, we are talking about albums with Diego and Lisa. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Photographers Drinking Coffee Talk in Business. I'm Trevor Sherwin and I'm a boudoir photographer based out of Toronto. And uh, this is a little video series where we talk about something that most photographers have a little bit of trouble with. Sales and in particular finished product. But not to worry because this video series was created so that you could learn from this and start selling some finished products of your own because we're going to interview some people who are in the industry and just crushing it so you'll get to learn some of their tips and tricks. Um, make sure you like and comment on the video as well because I'd love to hear all of what you've got to say. But um, before I introduce my guests today, uh, I want to let you know that this video series is brought to you by the folks over at GTA Imaging. They're basically where I get all of my finished products made, whether it be wall art or albums or promo material for that matter. And uh, the reason I love them is because they do customer service at a really epic level. And of course their finished products are absolutely stunning and high quality. Now, if you want to set up an account with them because they don't sell to consumers, they only sell to professional photographers, there's a link down below in the show notes and you can uh, set up an account with them and I would love it if you did that. But uh, you know what? On to the show because we're talking to Diego and Lisa today. They're a husband and wife team and they basically shoot weddings and they have such an amazing passion for what they do. Um, and they're even a little competitive because when they shoot weddings, they're each trying to one up each other with the shot of the day, which I find really, really fun. Um, now I've been following their work for a while now and honestly, it's amazing. Their Instagram uh, stories and Instagram profile are amazing. You should check them out at uh, Diego and Lisa on Instagram, but without further ado, on to the show. So welcome, Diego and Lisa. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Um, well, I'm so glad you're on the uh, the show today, and I want to get everybody to to get to know you a little bit better. So the the question I kind of ask everybody is, what is it you say you do? Like, how do you describe your business to people when you first meet them, whether they be clients or just somebody? Well, the first thing we say is that we're a husband and wife team because not everybody realizes that. Yeah. Some people think that we're just friends or just colleagues, so we always make sure that they know that. A lot of people just freak out and think it's the cutest thing, especially <laughs> if we're at bridal shows. All the brides are like, oh, it's so cute, right? Yeah. And also, like, I just tell everybody, like, you have a comfort of knowing that I can bug him and he's not going to go anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not going anywhere. But yeah, so yeah. we always start off with that. And then we tell people that we're not cookie cutter photographers. We don't do the standard wedding photography that generally most people are used to seeing. We love to play with lights, shadows, reflections, different angles. We want to give the wow factor in every single picture that yeah. we do, right? And we have a little bit of a competition going between us about uh, who's going to get the most epic shot of the night. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I absolutely love that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's just uh, what uh, okay. drives us. Yeah, it's right? what drives us yeah. because during the wedding, as we're shooting, we're always kind of trying to one up each other. And if we're not together, we'll send a cell phone picture and be like, look what I did. Like, okay, uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. this is this is fun. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <more or less. laughs> so where are you guys located right now? We're located in North York, so Young and Finch area. Okay, so that's like, you know, for people who are not familiar with Toronto, that's basically Toronto, but the north end of it. North, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, basically. So, um, and where do most of your clients come from? Are they all local? Do you travel to people? How does that work? So for the most part, our clients are local. They're from the GTA and the GTA area. But we end up traveling quite a bit all, all over. I mean, yeah. next week we're actually going to BC to shoot a wedding in Whistler. We've nice. Yeah, yeah, we're so excited. Yeah. So, oh, darn. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. Oh shoot! <laughs> right? Yeah, but the Montreal, Niagara Falls, Kitchener, like 
all over. Yeah. Like, we're happy to travel. There's no limit for us. Yeah. We want to go and create. And if there's a new, unique place we haven't been to, even better. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so now the, here's the question I love asking because I always get this, this, this huge array of answers. And um, it is, the, the question is, what is a photography myth that you want to clear up? So it's something you basically know to be either true or false, but people think the opposite. So what would that be? So the big thing, and we always tell our friends, family, clients, we tell this to everybody. People think that this is an easy job and you make a ton of money. And there's, it's, both are so far from the truth, right? Photography isn't just about showing up on the day of, taking a couple of pictures, drinking, eating, partying, going home, and you're done and doing it again. At least for us. At least for us. <laughs> I'm right. sure there are some photographers who do do that, but I think for great photographers, like it's everything from marketing to accounting, everything that goes beyond that, then planning for the wedding, scheduling, meeting with the couples, emails, and some brides need a lot of attention, and that's fine because we really? I kind of just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. yeah. And even the day of the wedding, we you'll never find us just sitting and relaxing, not doing anything. We're either just shooting through every single moment, searching for something to create, searching for something unique. We want to give a wow factor, so we're not going to just sit there and just be like, yeah, okay, like let just wait. No, like it's it's so rare to find us just sitting on our bum, right? <laughs> And yeah, it's so, it's so true. I mean, I always, I always joke with people saying, you know, like 10%, like photography is only 10% fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like the, the other 90% is like, Oh my God, I got to get up and do that today. <laughs> um, that <happens. laughs> but yeah. yeah. And that like, that is very synonymous for me, at least with accounting, my least favorite thing to do in the entire world. I hear um, but yeah, I hear you, you know, like it's a lot of work and most people don't really understand that because they only see you at that one brief moment in time and forget there's all this front and back end stuff. Yeah. So mean, good it, myth. I like that. Yeah, it's even like in the way we, is this is actually the way we choose to work because even like in weddings, like one time we got the, the, the videographer saying like, ah, you don't need to shoot through the, the, the speech, the you just need like a one, two picture. This is important for video. They're like, like this is with the photographers that you work before, not with us. Like the speech, which always like any moment we try to create something different. Then the speech is like one more moment, right? Yeah. So, by the end of a wedding, sometimes we have couples who ask us to stay and party. And we're like, guys, we're emotionally <laughs> and physically drained. We <laughs> I want my bad. Here. We, we can't, like we do 12. Thanks, gotta go home and sleep. Exactly, <laughs> yes. right? Like people just don't realize how much goes into it. And then the editing and the selecting, it just, Oof, like, yeah, people don't much, see that. It's much more than it yeah. seems to be. It's not just yeah, that's why I have such mad respect for you wedding photographers. I, if there's one genre of photography I personally could never do, it's weddings. I just, I learned early on, not for me. And, but, you know, when people who love it and are passionate about it, I am just so stoked to, to feel that passion. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's just, I know it's not for me. That's the thing, like, I think if you don't love it, if you're not like passionate about it, like you can't do for so long yeah. because it's a lot of stress. So if you don't love yeah. it, if you don't like what you're doing, you burn out. It's hard because it's hard for us. We love what we do and it's still like very hard to keep going and like every wedding, the end of each wedding, it, like we're dead. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I can, uh, yeah. I mean, I love my little like two and three hour photo shoots, you know, versus the, yeah. the 14 or 18 hour day. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enough respect guys. <laughs> but we're not talking about weddings today. We're talking about albums. Yeah. Yes. And, um, in particular, you know, albums that kind of wow and, and blow the, the, you know, the couple away. So, what is it you like most about selling albums to your customers? I think it's the reactions that we get when people look at our albums. Yeah. Like from bridal shows, when yeah. couples come meet us, the first time we see an album, they just don't expect it yeah. to look like that. They expect what mom and dad had, right? Yeah. And that's so different from what we yeah. have now. When they pick up an album, they feel the weight now, or like they run their fingertips on the covers. And then when they open their pages, especially with us, because we do a lot of metallic pages, it's our favorite uh, page finish. Yeah, like, I saw that. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah, people are just like, whoa. 
for a moment you can see like their ma- their brain is processing yeah, and they're like, yeah. is it is this like 3D and they like that yeah, People think it's 3D. <laughs> Sometimes they'll tap the page and just their, their reactions. It's always yeah. just, it's so cool to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's what really sparks a lot of people's interest when it comes to albums. And I mean, um, you know, given that you shoot weddings, it's not, it's not much of a stretch to, to pair weddings with an album. Like, but you know, did you, did you, was there a time when you first started shooting weddings where you didn't sell an album or was it, has it been albums right from day one? It was very, very early on. I think yeah. like we didn't offer albums, yeah. but very quickly we started offering not necessarily good quality albums. It took us a while to figure out how important a good quality album yes. is. Yeah, we, we had some yeah. headache, like trial and error. <laughs> trying and yeah. until and we find a good one. Yeah, yeah exactly. But like, yeah. Yes, I think it's like everyone, as soon as you start the business, you, you don't offer album right away. But when you see the difference first time when you print, your work and you see like in your hands, it's so different. Yeah. Like you yes, see it is. My pictures ready. Yeah. Right. Well, like, is it fair for me to say there's this wonderful permanence to an out to an image once you've printed it, not only for yourself, but for your customers? 100%. Yeah. It just, it's so different. People are so used to just swiping on their phone, but they yeah. don't stop and appreciate it and look at the picture when it's on their phone. We're just so used to doing this, right? Go, 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 go. But when you have the album in your hand, you stop and look, you appreciate all the details. When you have a frame, right? You actually stop and look and appreciate everything. Yeah. Hmm. Like I, I remember um, like a lot of, like when my customers, like before I get them their book, they, um, you know, they might be swiping on their phone and just looking at it. And then when they actually get the, the book and they put it in their hands, their, their eyes light up and they just yeah. like, you could show them images on an iPad, which is a pretty big surface and then show them a book and they're still going to be mind blown by the book. And yeah. the, it, it is, and despite iPads being really cool, they are not the same thing no, at no. all. Like, and it's uh, yeah, it's fun to email pictures here and there, give one yeah. to so-and-so and whatnot, but books. I feel like what, the, the process not done yet. Yeah, that's a, that's a very, very true statement is that uh, the process is not done. And I get the sense that with you guys, you know, providing that finished product album is part of the process. And if you want to speak to that, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Definitely. We actually include the albums in majority in our packages because we find it it's so important for couples to have. And not everybody realizes how important it is to have it. Like we don't know. Not, everybody doesn't email us right away or saying like, we want an album or we want an album. They don't always know what they want. They don't always know how cool it is. And once we meet, whether it's a bridal show or we meet here and we show the album, it's like a light bulb clicks in, yeah. like, got to get an album. Yeah. Like an album, this is where, like, everything finishes. This is where everything's going to come right. together, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, so, so, like, I mean, what, can we dig into that a little bit? Like, I want to I wanna talk about how you bring up an album to a new perspective client. I presume they're not all bridal show clients, right? Like not, ev- not every acquisition's from that. So let's, let's pretend that you, you don't meet them at a bridal show. Yeah. Like how do you introduce the idea of an album to them in that initial sales, not sales, but like co- client courtship, if you will. Here's the thing too, like I think it's even better when we, we met for the first time and they didn't see the albums yet. Because when they see it, wow, they're not waiting. They're, they're thinking expecting. that we just like I pull it up like a computer or an iPad and show like pictures through. Yeah. And when they see the album, they're like, whoa. Yeah, because when we meet with couples, we always have the albums right next to us. They, they're always on display. Yeah. So even okay. though it's the first thing that we show, their eyes right away go to that because they see this beautiful album next to it. Yeah. And we can see that they're eager to look at it. But yeah. we, we hold off a little yeah. bit. But yeah, well, that's actually a really important point, right? Because you're, rather than just opening up your laptop and saying, here, let's just look at some pictures on this or using an iPad or something, you're, you're kind of showing them the finished product right from the get go. Exactly. And yeah, I can see how they would be very like, oh my God, wow, what is this thing? Like, I gotta, I gotta dig into this. I gotta look at this. We put the, we we display the albums and that we're just talking because first of all, we want to know the people that, and they get to know us and then for them to see the album. Yeah. So we tell them like, uh, let's look at more samples, flip through the albums and they're just looking at the pictures, but not realizing they're looking at an album that they could have for themselves yeah. as well. Some people, they get a, 
I would get like a the, the alcohol. The, the, is this just a sample? Yeah. I'm like, like I'm no. getting this. <laughs> yeah. But really, the yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your samples then. I mean, obviously they are a pretty integral part of your sales process then. Yeah. If you're going to sell an album effectively, obviously you got to show it. Um, but what, like, describe your samples and like how they look. Are they like all done up or are they just like base model? Like what is, what are your, what are your samples kind of look and feel I think like? We have right now about 10 or so samples but we don't initially, we don't present everything at the same time. So that would be overwhelming. We mm -hmm. don't present our two fanciest that we have at the time, our newest or fanciest, the ones that ha is fully blinged out, has all the cool upgrades and all the features. So that the initial effect is just like, wow, yeah. right? And then depending on the context as we're selling, we then will show, well, this is what a base album looks like, or this is what you can actually have as well. Right? Yeah. yeah, and that's always like super successful. Like, I think with every single sale, with every wedding, the couple always ends up upgrading something because yeah. they've already seen it. Yeah. They don't get what they don't see. So if we don't have a sample, it's very unlikely we're actually going to get it. You have to have a sample to sell what you want to sell. I think a big example that is like a, is in a frame but can be in the album if you don't have the album. Like we offering before like a, a signing frame, but we didn't have with us a signing frame. And we never sold anything after people take it out from the package. Right. The time when we put it up, the first meeting sold. Sold. So this is the same thing to the album. If you don't have a metallic page finish, you're not gonna sell metallic page finish. You're just gonna right. sell what you have. If so you yeah. don't have, you're not selling. So yeah, our samples are all big variety, yeah. but we definitely show the fanciest ones. Yeah, yes. So so I want to get into as well, kind of some configuration ideas because. I, I know I can speak to, from my own experience and I've also experienced this with other photographers is that with a lot of companies that make these kind of things, it can be a little overwhelming like with all the options for not only page materials but like number of pages, cover options, you name it, right? Like there's a zillion different, even sizes for that matter. And I'm just curious if, if you have like kind of really isolated what you sell? Like, do you have specific sizes you go with? Like, is there like a small, medium, large, or is it just like, what is it? You hit on a really good point. The thing is like, we choose what we like most. Yeah. So this For is sure. how we started. Yeah. And I mean, you're right that it can be very overwhelming. Yeah. So that's why we don't want to give a ton of options. So we really narrow it down to a few. So they choose between two sizes. It's a 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. Yeah. Easy sure. choice to make. Yeah. Then it, after that, they choose the page finish. We only have two choices, luster or metallic. One Which is that doesn't sound like they do luster very often. Not as much. Yeah. Once in a while, yeah. you'll get that. Sometimes if it's a couple is split, then they'll go with luster because it's the one that's already included in the album. Yeah. Safe. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And then the metallic, of course, which is our favorite, but don't tell couples. We don't, we don't give our opinions in the meetings. Let's say, but we well, love you know what? It's never bad to give a little bit of a bias. I mean, I'm the, I'm the exact opposite, right? Like, I love the, the, what GTA does with their deep matte papers. Okay. Right? Like, that's just my thing. All my books are designed with deep matte paper. You don't even get an option with me. But, you know, because for the longest time, I just kept saying to people, well, you can have this, the luster, or you can have the deep matte. And I really love the deep matte. And I, I just found myself selling it. And I just said, ah, screw it. I'll just include it. So, no, you know, and it's, it's, it's up to you. And I, I, but I love the passion that you give because you, you hit on a really important point with that, with that paper is it looks like it's in a, electronic device exactly yeah because like our, it's our, so vibrant yes in our yeah. photos they do have a lot of color and they have a lot of contrast so combine it with a metallic yeah. finish they come to life like they're yeah. really uh -huh. pop everybody's yeah. just like wow yeah. right and that's what we're doing we, we, we get excited when we just like wow like yeah we get excited for all now <laughs> <laughs> oh no I, i'm the same way i know exactly what you don't have to preach to this choir yeah. i'm <laughs> Trust me. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of interesting how um, if you do also upgrade papers on books, they, they become even more unique. Yes. Like most, as you alluded to earlier, most people can't get one of these books made by themselves anyway, right? Oh, like it's well. very difficult for them to, do, to make anything as good as what we get at GTA Imaging. Oh, but yeah. 
you know, layer that on with some fancy papers, either, you know, matte one way or glossy metallic on the other side, like, yeah. oh my God, then they get something that is truly a statement piece oh, and yeah. something they can't, they would never otherwise do. Yeah, we um, often hear people saying they want to get their albums to in cost. We're like, look, for sure you can get that. But, but you're never going to get the same quality. You're never going to get this wow factor. Nope. Think, but also think about how much work that involve, is involved for them. It's true. The thing is, yeah, we, we, we try to explain the whole process, like to design the album, because it's not something simple. And like, they see how nice our albums are, but they don't know that like, they can't, they, they can make an album, but it's not gonna look that nice because there's a, no, a lot of knowledge behind that, yeah. right? When you design the album. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, yeah, and that's, that's part of what, you know, makes us, us, right? Yeah. You know? Like, um, yeah, I just, I, I, I love the fact that you guys want to take this from start to end and that just makes so much sense. Yeah. Um, so what I really want to do now, now that we kind of, oh, before we move on to that, I, there's one other thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about cover options for the book. Oh yeah. This is one thing that definitely can be overwhelming for both the photographer and the customer. Yeah. So do I, I think I'm going to guess that GTA imaging makes probably 40 or 50 different cover options. Yeah. How many of those do you show? All of them. So we show every all, single one, all of them, but we make it much easier for them. So we separate it into three piles. So you have a tier one, which is included. Then you have yeah. tier two, which is a slightly bigger upgrade. And then, then we have, the third one, which is like a fancy of the fancy. The so leather we, one. The yeah. leather one, yeah, yeah, like the genuine leather. So we can like go through all of them, but don't overthink it. The one that speaks to you first, take it out. And mm -hmm. it's, it's really quick. Couples yeah, have actually come to quick. decisions very yeah. quickly. They go with your heart. And actually with the budget too, because the like budget. if they have the budget, if they don't have the budget to go with the less upgrade, they say, okay, so now not even look that one. When the... <laughs> You know, the clients that have a little bit more money, it's like, okay, so let me see the leather, how they look like. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah, and that's, so, so what do you do when somebody says, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to spend X number of dollars to do this leather upgrade. Like, do you, do you say anything to them at that point? Just go, okay, fine. Or do you maybe have a way of maybe enticing them to go to that next level? Definitely. We always point out that genuine leather is much more durable. Yeah. So the leatherette is also beautiful, and of course, it's not going to disintegrate. Yeah. But if you want something that's really going to stand against the test of time, that you're, you're going to be able to pass on to your kids, genuine leather. Yeah, all, yeah, all like, day long. All day long, yeah. It, it's phenomenal. Right. And we show. And we show, Like, yeah. we show, here's the leather. Like, we have the sample. Yeah. Like, it, it, yeah, it, and it, your sample probably gets used way more than their album ever will. So. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what we say, like, yeah. you know how many people go through this album and look how they look. They look yeah, cute. They're, they're still brand new. Yeah. Healthy, so. yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's that's too true. That is too true. So, um, so let's let's talk a little bit about um, just, I guess, how you go about your design process with the customer. So you've obviously you've shot the wedding. Mm -hmm. Now we're into that like, okay, we're gonna choose images. Do you do that in person, and then you design the album like? Talk to me about like what happens from the initial we select to uh, how you get the album ready for them. Yep. So we tell them that they need to select their favorite photos through the online gallery where we send them all the pictures. They create a favorites folder and that's where all the pictures that they want in the album goes into. Right? And then we okay. go into a virtual album where we create a draft, so online proofing. And then mm -hmm. once we create a sample version we send it off and they will review every page and they'll provide us feedback right on the online yeah. version saying hey i want to move this picture here i want to move that picture there and it's really like a mm -hmm. back and forth uh yeah. collaborative process yeah. we, we work together until it's all complete it's approved and then we send it off to printing no so then and then we select of course all the <laughs> features yes. yeah so then like we invite them over like for a drink and then they show the all the options that they have that they've seen before on the first meeting but uh we now we're, the, we have to make all the big decisions. <laughs> all the big decisions, like after when the uh, the design is ready, so they select everything, and then we send to GTA. And I never ship direct to the client. I, I always want to go there, get the album. I'm gonna look my album, 
and then invite the client to pick it up the, the album to give in their hand. Yeah, yeah the, there's, there's something special about like putting this physically into somebody's hands rather than just drop shipping. And I mean, yeah. sometimes that's a necessity if they live far away, but course, you yeah, know, yeah. The, anybody who's local-ish, uh, for me at least, um, I love the look on their face when they actually see it in print. Because just looking at it on a computer screen, oh, yeah. not the same. Not, not, not the same at all. It's going to be the same. <laughs> so guys, what, what was the hardest thing that, like about initially selling albums that you had to go through? I think it's the initial investment just yeah. because we didn't want to do just a basic simple album. We wanted to right away go, go big. We want to get the metallic page. We want to get the genuine leather, 12, 12 by 12. 12 yeah. We really want to do the fanciest, the, box, the biggest, oh, everything. everything. The box. Yeah, we want to just really go big. And that initial sticker shop, we're like, whoa, that's going to be a lot of money. But then once we did it, once we started seeing their reactions, so we're like, the first reaction. The first reaction, 100% worth it. Yeah. After that, I mean, like, we, we've been ordering albums. We've ordered albums for our own personal like trips. We went to Costa Rica and ordered an album for ourselves. <laughs> Metallic finish, twelve by twelve. With all the for us. Right? This is how good they are. <laughs> yeah, it, it just meant getting past that first order and then seeing what you get back from it. That's really the hardest yeah. uh, part, like just the first step. Yeah, and that that is definitely a big part of this. It's kind of it's like that investment in whatever the gear you got to use, like whether it be cameras and lenses yeah. and flashes and whatnot. But like these books are no different, but they, they are revenue generators, right? So sure. if you don't have them, you can't sell. And once you've got them, you just keep using them to make money. Oh, like yeah. they, it, it almost becomes less of an issue to have these things and to have paid for them than you'd think, right? Like oh, you yeah. may shell out 500 to $1,000 for samples, but then you make $100,000 off the samples. So exactly. yeah. What's the thousand dollars? Yeah, and this is like a even a way that some photographers they don't know how to make the extra money. They okay, I'm just selling my package. Like I have to make more money. Maybe I'm gonna get more weddings or something like that. Like you have there, make an album, make samples, show to your clients. Like make the most expensive one and offer the base one. And then you make that extra money on the upgrades. On the upgrades. Yeah. So we, that, we find the albums end up just selling themselves. When you yeah, have an yeah. album you show, yeah. it, people want them. So They're just wow. walk, yeah. walk me through a final album. So like, what do mo like you, you've got your base configuration. What are the three, four, five upgrades that pretty much everybody do to their books? I think it's the metallic one is very popular. Very popular. Um, 12 by 12, the size people love. Because the thing, thing is, we, we delivered a 10 by 10. Or our basic. Yeah, yeah with the luster page. Luster page, 10 by 10, tier yeah. one cover, and no yeah. text emboss. So that's our standard base. And then so people people love a metallic, so they often get that. They get the text emboss, often get up to 12 by 12. And then people also and, love and, and another thing, like, because we offer with 20 pages, like, what you can put in 20 pages, almost not, not much. much. So... <laughs> That's the thing, like they upgrade, they add pages. That's yeah. another, another thing that usually couple do. Yeah. 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 So it becomes this really good thing. Like you've got your wedding package that they purchased and then they have almost like, it's almost like finding money in the couch with these upgrades. I mean, I think that's why I like albums sales so much is because I can add on to these and I can build those sales a little bit. And that, that kind of adds a little extra revenue in my pocket that, you know, if I just show people stuff and they go, wow, yes. Yes. Okay. That, right. That's another thing too. Like what you can make like a smaller book or, because some, some people can think, okay, I'm going to make like a, a cheaper book to put in my package just to say that uh, my package come with an album and I'm not spending a lot of money making the album. Mm -hmm. But like how much you got to look like I can make money with that. If I'm making something cheap, you're not going to make anything after that. Yeah, nobody's you're just going to deliver that. It's just to say that you have an album. When you do something expensive, something nice like that, like you make more money after the wedding, people, right? Yeah, people want to then invest. If it's a good quality item, yeah. they want to put even more, right? We, we, yeah. we, we, don't, we, we don't see the album just like a, a, to have an album in a package. We see like we can 
make uh, extra money money after the wedding with, yeah. with the album. Depending on how generous friends and family are, yeah. then they see after the wedding how much we yeah. want in thus. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's so true. So um, I guess uh, how do you, def one of the final questions I have with regards to the config of these books is what do you do to kind of present it to somebody? You're obviously not saying, you know, here, here's a, here's a book. It's, and just, it's all like naked and stuff. It's not going to be like that. Like, how is it, how is it presented? Are there fancy boxes? Are there, what, 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 how do you do this? So we deliver them would be most of the fact, not every, some people opt out of it, but they get with the wooden boxes that the cover matches the album. Yeah. Right. And when we show it when it's closed and then you open with the metallic little clasp and then you open it, everybody's like, wow. Oh, another big thing is uh, we show the acrylic cover. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. When you open the box and you have that album acrylic with the cover. acrylic cover, that's another, another upgrade and that, that a, lot of, a lot of brides go with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that acrylic cover is pretty wow. And I mean, it plays right into your, um, your metallic paper too because yeah. it has that same kind of yeah, yeah. essence, I guess. So and that box really like that. Yeah. It adds a bit of weight. It adds a little bit of that extra oomph, right? So when they open it and they see that it's like, like wow. I'm getting, I'm gonna get like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah. Box. It's 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 substantial, and yeah. I, I think I think there's a, a like maybe a weird psychological thing. Like the heavier it is, yeah. people think it's worth more. That's yeah. true. I mean, I don't know whether that's a hundred percent true, but it seems yeah. that way. I'll be you can can get them like with one hand. You need like two hands because oh, usually yeah. they're oh, yeah. very heavy. We do like with the limit, but you just, oh, the limit is this. Okay, but you're just gonna put some more pages and they usually act like this. Yeah. Everybody, when they get the album, they pick it up and like they don't expect the weight. They think it's gonna be feather light, like a traditional album. And so then they pick it up and like, wow, like <laughs> yeah. that's a hefty album. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah it's that, like, uh, it speaks to the, like the kind of quality that, that, that's made there. Um, so last question I got for you is, what advice would you give to somebody who is, you know, maybe just shooting shoot and burn kind of thing right now, right? So they're just providing a, a USB key with digital images. What do you tell them? In, invest in the albums. It's, it's, you're wasting money. <laughs> you're not making the money. You get the money and put it on the garbage because that's money there. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's money there. Don't limit yourself just like USBs or like online gallery. You can make uh, extra money there with the albums like get investment like you want to buy that lens don't buy that lens now buy an album sample because with that that you can make that extra money and beyond that too just using that as a sample to show off your work your work comes yeah. to life it's not again it's not the same thing showing it an ipad or showing a laptop when you're showing it in an album people they get lost in the story they get lost in the picture they, and they start visualizing themselves there and not just a bride, right? Yeah. So it's it's so worth the investment on so many different levels. You got to get the albums, yeah. get multiple different samples, different finishes, show it off, be proud of your work. Yeah, yeah is, absolutely. Like, like you said, uh, the, the pictures come to life like stories because even before when we started out, we, we had the pictures and the computer and whatever, and we saw the photographer saying, oh, you know, like, you tell the story with the pictures. You can open the picture and tell the client the story behind that picture. But like in a computer, like I, I was looking like, I don't see story. It's, it's like something magical. Like when you open an album, the client say, oh, look at this picture. I say, oh, you know what happened this day? This, this, this happened. I think that's something magical be yeah. behind the, the album. It's not like just... We're not just saying just because, like, it's, it's real, true. it's true. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. I think the other good thing is with layouts of albums, you kind of put one image here and another image here. I mean, sure, you're going to have like a two-page spread occasionally, but sometimes those images play off each other. And they could be by themselves, they're okay, but yeah. together they're like best friends. Yeah. And it, it helps tell that story so much more effectively, and I guess – that's it's why so storybooks are so yeah, fun. It's, it's so different that you see a picture here and you swipe and you see the other picture, then you see those two pictures together side by side telling the story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially if you do albums that are one single wedding, for example, when people finish the albums, they're able to feel all those emotions, be a part of it.
like really immerse yourself. And you wouldn't get that by flipping through a thousand pictures of an entire wedding. And photographers wedding. have to understand that, <laughs> right? So, yeah, you for gotta, sure. You gotta teach your client because they don't know, they don't know right? Yep, it is definitely about education. And since we were talking about education, that is, that is the education we're going to give people today is this little video. So thank you so much, guys, for being on here today. This, uh, this, was, this was awesome. Just tell, tell the, uh, the interwebs where they can find and follow you. So if you find us at Diego and Lisa, it's very easy. We're on Instagram, very active there. We Diego love, and Lisa. Yeah, we love people's stories. The Diego Wedding, too. We're always posting stories to show you how we work. So check that out. Facebook, our website, DiegoandLisa.com. Very simple to the point. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, I'm Trevor, and uh, you can find me on Instagram at provocateur underscore images, and my site is provocateurimages.ca. And of course, a big thanks to our sponsor, GTA Imaging, who makes all the finished products we were talking about here today. And uh, if you want to find out more about their pricing and how they operate, there is a link down below in the uh, show notes, which will give you um, a little link to click so you can fill out the application to uh, set up a, a customer profile because they don't sell to general consumers. They only sell to professional photographers, which is very good and it makes all of us very happy. So <laughs> also make sure you hit that like button on this video and make some comments down below because we really want to hear what you got to say. Um, but uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking to you on the next one. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.